shoot through his stomach, can come out his bag. My niggas, they banging and ready to stay. This on the set, get put in the bag. We love the money, the drugs, the guns. I don't ever. Oh my. Today we gonna be reacting to the bridge story. Can y'all see me well? Let me see y'all have to move. All right, y'all see, but it's lines on my face, but no homo. But yeah, let's begin this video, you feel me? All right. <laughs> no blanket today, guys. This scene is So this story takes place when I was about 16 years old. At my school, I played for the volleyball team, and every year we would go to a camp and do volunteer work for this guy. The camp was in the middle of nowhere. When we got to the camp, we immediately started to work until 8 p.m. This was around October, so it was already dark at 8. Hey, my gosh! My friends and I were sitting around the fire, trying to figure out something we could do so we weren't so bored. We heard that there was a small river. See, that's why I can't wait, because I can't wait till I get older, so I can start going places. We down the hill from the camp, With and we thought we could check it out. The problem was, is that it was some guy's property, and the owner of the camp told us to not disturb him. So why did you disturb him? strange. <laughs> we weren't really supposed to leave the camp, but being 16 years old, we loved breaking the rules. Sure. We walked about 10 minutes from the camp and finally reached the river. <laughs> was bigger than we expected, and there was said. a large wooden bridge that crossed it. The bridge was about 20 feet long and was big enough to let a truck go over it. Really, bro? My two friends and I decided to go under the bridge and check it out. As we were walking by the shoreline, we saw two headlights off in the distance moving Don't towards go the bridge, Don't so we pulled it underneath yeah. it and hid. We then heard the truck roll over our heads and to the other side. My friends and I chilled there for a while, just talking and throwing rocks in the water. It was about 8.30 at this time, and now it was pretty much pitch black. That's when we started to hear a slow rumble in the distance. The same truck had come back, and this time it was moving much slower. We stayed put under the bridge, stifling our laughter. Eventually, the truck moved over the bridge, but rather than going over to the other side, the truck stopped right on top of us. The only thing you could hear was the rushing water and the hum of the engine. Then, the door of the truck swung open, and out came a loud thump on top of the bridge. Then we heard a loud scream, saying, I know you're out there! I'm gonna find you! I looked at my friends, and they were both shaking in fear. This must have been the crazy property owner, and he seemed pissed that we were on his land. He started screaming and saying he was gonna hurt us if he finds us. We could see that he had a flashlight and was swinging it around looking for us. We heard loud thumps as he walked around a little bit, calling out for us, and thank God he never went under the bridge. Eventually, it went silent, and it sounded as if he went back into his truck. I was too terrified to move. We sat there for about ten minutes, and then my one friend, who we'll call Trevor, whispered in my ear, saying that we have to go. I gave him a quick nod, and in slow motion, we moved out from under the bridge. We started to army crawl on the shoreline of the river, and I remember looking behind me to see the top of the bridge. <laughs> I saw a white Ford F-150, and the driver's seat was the man staring right at me with a sinister smile, and he even gave me a little wave. At that moment, I screamed and ran. My friend saw me run and took off after me. I could hear screaming from behind He's us. My I arm. took a quick glance behind me and saw that he was chasing after us, and I couldn't quite make out the object in his hand, but it seemed okay, to be a weapon good. of some sort. We ran into the forest and ducked behind a bush. It was pitch black in the forest, and we couldn't hear a thing. We sat there for a while, just shaking. The man never walked by us, and we never heard him. After we gathered our courage, we got up and walked back to camp, got into our tents, and tried to fall asleep. The next morning, we talked to the camp owner about the man that owned the property of the river. The camp owner said that he didn't know much about the man, but he knows that he has some mental problems and he'd been accused of assault. I am so happy that we were able to escape from underneath the bridge. I can't imagine what would have happened if he caught us.
What would have happened? Alright, now let me bring the sunlight back. Okay, guys, that's the end of this vid. I wonder what would have happened, though, if he would have called him. But, make sure y'all drop a like, subscribe. See y'all in the next video. I got another video to make today because I got to keep making videos, dropping them back to back. I think I'm going to do a story time. I think I'm going to do one. I don't know, but you know. Peace.